Hello and welcome to Circuit Ricardo Tormo. The circuit within a stadium at Chest Valencia is named after the legendary Spanish two-time world champion Grand Prix motorcycle racer Ricardo Tormo. The 4km, 2.5 mile circuit with an 800m main straight has brought some of the best GT racing to our screens and now it comes to Assetto Corsa Competizione. Taking us for a tour of this incredible circuit is our very own Aristoteles Vasilakos. Hello Sim Racers, I'm Aristoteles from Kuno Simulazioni and this is Valencia Track Guide in Assetto Corsa Competizione. The Thunderous V8 you hear is from the Mercedes AMG GT3, winner of 2022 Spa 24 Hours Race. Jump in and let's go for a quick lap! The start finish straight line is very short, so you better get ready for turn 1. The braking reference point is after the first white mark at the guardrail. Downshift to fourth or third gear, carry much higher speed than you think it's possible and let the car go wide over the green asphalt outside the curb, which is part of the track limits only for turn one. Turn two, brake at the white mark and downshift to first gear for the slowest corner of the track. Patience at the exit to avoid understeer or power oversteer. Turn three is flat out. Brake at the white mark outside the left curb Release the brakes early and go over the creek curbs of the apex of turn 4. There is no specific braking reference point, so you need to go by experience at turn 5. On the accelerator as the green curb to the right ends and cross from left to right for turn 6. Brake again at the white mark outside the right curb. Approach in second gear and keep up some momentum. Exit is easier than you think, so make sure to try and accelerate a bit sooner this time. Start braking just a hint before the white mark to your right and trail brake all the way to the late apex of turn 8. Keeping a bit more inside lane will help you with the camber of the track. Turn 9 and turn 10 are flat out, but make sure to start braking hard at the apex of turn 10 kink because turn 11 follows and it is a very slow long almost 180 degrees hairpin. At the exit of turn 11, Get back in the road to avoid the bumps of the side road and place your left tires outside again just before turn 12. Brake at the white mark, release brakes very soon and steer towards the apex making sure to not get over the right sausage curb as it will greatly unsettle your car. At the exit, the outside part of the curbs is bumpy but it is necessary to take advantage for a better lap time. Stay in the left side of long T13 for at least half of it and gradually go wide and prepare for the challenging downhill braking zone of turn 14. The last corner of the circuit and it is so technical. It's very easy to end up wide while braking downhill and invalidate the lap. It is also very important to modulate the braking at the turn in to avoid missing the apex and going wide. Correct apex, early acceleration is paramount to achieve good speed at the start-finish straight line. 